What's up everyone, Leon here, back again with some Hitman World of Assassination. So this time we're back with another challenge and it's the true fan challenge to unlock the super fan suit. Well that means a trip to Sapienza, but it's night time. Well, as I said, we're going to Sapienza, we've got the author to do, uh, which involves taking out two targets. We've got Craig Black, brother Akram, and we've got to pick up the virus uh, sample. So, But in order to do the challenge, we need to take out Craig Black uh, in the super fan disguise uh, which we need to get so that's what we're going to do so to do that we're going to start off at the default starting location we're going to smuggle in a lethal syringe in the sewers take a titanium crowbar a calmer and an ICA remote micro taser yeah what we're going to do let's see how we get on good evening 47 so we're just going to let the cutscene play out. The We're waiting for the Marina Square. It is invitation only, a close-up so of one of the guards, which will come up shortly. And there we go. So we cut out of that from there. And the reason for that is it just means that everybody starts doing the little routes. Uh, but we're going to pick some stuff on the way. Get that coat can. Not get shocked by the bats. Get that brick as well. And then we'll pick up the lethal syringe. We'll also take the briefcase as well. And then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the disguise. You know what? We're just going to drag him and pop him in here because although he won't get seen, when we take out Craig Black, it'll cause a little bit of... Uh, just bump into him as well. Just cause a bit of chaos, really. Obviously, someone's just died. Uh, but we pick up that screwdriver. Try not to bump into things on the way. Um, you have to be quick, though, in order to do that. You can get spotted and it can rip your run. Uh, we place down the micro taser. It's important to, to place it down. Because uh, if you drop it, it screws up the whole process of people doing stuff. Like a phone call needs to be made to bring the target down. That sort of thing. Uh, but that's all set up. We're not going to trigger the taser just yet. We're going to wait in order to do that. But we're just going to calmer this guy here. Because getting up this pipe while they're there isn't great. Uh, he sees you, he tells on you. You start getting shot. Not good. But uh, we're just going to wait because this lady's there. I think she moves around about the 150 mark. Or at least turns her back to us around about that so that we can pacify with a can. I'm going to hop down. Throw a brick at that. And then open this up. I mean, it's quite interesting, really. Oh, we'll just have to set that off. Now, 209. Nearly forgot. I'm just calm her. Him. And we just run in at a bit of an angle. Because otherwise he sees you. Your second target. He isn't Remember to pick up the virus sample. And then we can make our way to an exit. And get out of here. Kill confirmed. Craig Black has been eliminated. One interesting thing though is, is that the author has been something. A There's a DLC that's been available since Hitman 1. Do be careful. And the whole time. This disguise has been in the game. You've been able to gain access to it, but there's never been a challenge to unlock it until now. It's been sat, been held to ransom. But the actual suit that you unlock doesn't even have the same benefits as the one in the actual mission. Bizarre. But there we have it. So the author done, both targets taken out. So there we have it, a silent assassin, three minutes and one seconds. I mean, yeah, like, it's not right in it, you know, like, you're not breaking any records, but like, to get the challenge done, you know, and, and there we go, completed, true fan, unlocked, super fan disguise. It's all right, I guess, in it, like. So there we have it, the final challenge that I've got available to do from the drop season done and dusted. And well, been a pretty decent season, roadmap. 
there's been some good elusive targets I, I guess I've enjoyed doing those videos out at some point keep your eyes peeled the challenges have been good I mean the unlocks have been quite useful really and I think that they'll have quite a great deal of value sort of moving forwards and you know being creative in different ways that you can take on any aspect of the game really I guess uh, it does make me wonder though moving forward with future roadmaps things like that the type of stuff that we're going to see that gets made available through challenges and you know if we're just going to be starting to see stuff that's kind of been held back that's already been available in the game for quite a while I mean the super fan suit has been what in part of of the hitman game the trilogy and uh, from well, the moment that the Patient Zero DLC came available. So, yeah, I mean, like, what else is there in the game, you know, that uh, you've had your eye on, that you've thought, well, that would be quite good if I could get access to it. I'm 47, parading around in that particular outfit or a weapon or something. I can't really think of anything. Maybe it's a water can. I mean, have we haven't don't have access to that do we tell me if i'm wrong um not in the main game anyway but yeah so i mean we've got the festive roadmap coming up i assume that that's gonna still take place so it'll be interesting to see what comes with that are we gonna get more premium content and are we just gonna get you know a whole set of new challenges with some unlocks of things that we've you know that have been hidden away in the game that we haven't been able to have an hour inventory so i'll be interested to see what comes of that and well you know and another round of elusive targets and, and everything else that comes with it and of course holiday hoarders wouldn't be christmas without it and well on that note i think that's me done so thanks to you for watching and well have a great day and i'll see you in the next one